Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy says it will unbundle and fully maximize the use of the over 2,000 properties of the Nigerian Postal Service. Minister of Communications and Digital and Economy, and Dr. Isa Pantami, said this in Abuja. According to him, Nipost has over 2,300 properties across the country, with most of them in dilapidated and underutilized states. Over 2,300 properties in this country, 2,003. And you will discover they have properties in some selected areas that are highly prestigious in Abuja, in Lagos, in Portacot, in Kaduna, in Kano, in all these places. And all of them have been dilapidated. Some of them have been there for over 30 years without utilizing them. So the wisdom is to establish some companies that will work under NIPOST like property and development company. This company will develop the property, sometimes in partnership, so that government will be able to generate something and at least will be able to put them into use. Two, we propose to have transport and logistic company. Three, these are the two. We have reached advanced stage, most probably almost 90% done now. Then after that, we will come up with NIPOS Microfinance Bank. We can use all our offices where there are no banks, even in rural areas. They can serve as their banks. In the same vein, Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy says it will soon deploy the five-generation network in Nigeria for increased connectivity. Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Dr. Isa Pantami, disclosed this in Abuja. So now we are working on the national policy on 5G. We are at least 95% done with it. From that spectrum, NCC will give it to mobile network operators to start deployment. So the policy is almost ready. I went to National Assembly and I defended our presentation. They have accepted and they have also endorsed the deployment of 5G. And they encourage us also to learn from other countries that have deployed. We have already done that. And World, HO, uh, World Health Organization, WHO, have already issued a statement that there was not any relationship between 5G and COVID-19. So that addresses the health issue. International Telecommunications Union, which is an arm of the United Nations, has also issued another statement that technologically 5G is safe.